Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a trying new makeup. A lot of products here from my Sephora haul, which I wanted to share with you in a video, and just a ton of new launches in general that I feel like you guys are gonna love to see, and I cannot wait to get on my face. We have Huda Beauty, Glow Recipe Benefit, Tower 28, Tarte, House Labs, NARS, Laura Lee Los Angeles, and a ton of other brands to go over in this video. So let's jump into this video. The first product that I'm going to be using is from City Beauty, and this portion of the video is sponsored by City Beauty, so thank you so much to City Beauty for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm going to be sharing with you their new City Lips Night Oil, and I do have a little bit left on my lips right now because I just woke up, had this on my lips at night, so I have a little bit of shine left, super soft, but I will be reapplying this just to have this on throughout the video. However, I do use this as it's intended as a night oil. It is very nourishing on the lips. And my favorite thing is that it makes the lines on my lips appear less liney. It definitely plumps up my lips without any sort of burning, which is the thing I love about City Lips and their plumping products. It's the same with this night oil. If you've ever tried their glosses, this isn't gonna sting your lips, but it's going to provide some plumping to the lips to just make them look more youthful. The City Lips Night Oil nourishes, exfoliates, and plumps the look of lips overnight. Directions for this, quite simple. Just before bed, apply a generous amount to clean dry lips as the last step in your evening skincare routine. There's a bunch of really great ingredients in this like Portulaca Peloza extract. I hope I'm saying that right. It supports a youthful looking lip shape and contour. Hyaluronic acid spheres deliver deep hydration and a visible plumping look. And plankton and floral extract helps reduce the look of aging lips for a smoother, younger look, which is what I notice the most is my lips are definitely smoother after using this overnight. There's no parabens, mineral oil, phthalates, or sulfates, no capsaicin, cinnamon, menthol, or ginger, cruelty-free, so none of those ingredients that irritate the lips, the burning sensation, if you've ever felt those in other lip plumping products. I love the smell of this. It's nice and sweet, which is what I like. The formula of this, I think, is perfect. It's not too thick or too thin, because I've tried lip oils in the past, which have a very thin consistency, and those disappear on my lips right away, and if it's too thick, I feel like that would be uncomfortable for at night. So this is the perfect kind of in-between where it's enough on my lips to see it in the morning when I wake up. It helps smooth out my lips. I don't feel like it's as chapped in the inner part of my lip as it has been in the past. I feel like it's really done a great job at smoothing out my lips, plumping them up. The lines appear less noticeable in my lips. I especially notice it on my bottom lip. The applicator is really nice too because if you saw in the application, I can kind of put my lips together and it gets both my upper and lower lip at the same time. So it's really quick and easy. Plus it comes to a nice taper where I can get the contour of my lip and make sure I get it all the way on my lips. In the morning when I wake up, my lips definitely feel less chapped, more smooth, and I feel like I don't need the lip treatments I typically need throughout the day, which is the number one benefit for this. <laughs> if I don't have to keep reapplying stuff throughout the day, it's keeping my lips nice and smooth, which I really, really appreciate. So I think you guys are gonna absolutely love this. I do have a coupon code with City Beauty. If you see it on the screen, I'll put it there, as well as in the description box for you to go check out. I'll have it linked as well for easy access. So definitely check out my link, use the code to save some money if you're going to check this out. Thank you so much to City Beauty for sponsoring this portion of the video. And I'm going to now jump into all the other products that we have to do, because there is a lot. The first product we're starting off with is the eyes. I do have my eyebrows and base done, so I'll have everything else linked below in case you're curious. We have one of the new Huda Beauty Matte Obsessions palettes. This is the Warm Matte Obsessions, which you probably could guess I would pick up this one because I live in these colors, especially since I've lightened and warmed up my hair. I just love these kind of tones, but there is a cool one if you are interested in more cool tones. We're going to be playing around with this today. We have a couple cream shades in the palette, which you can use as eyeliners or bases, and then a bunch of other beautiful matte tones that we're just gonna play around with and see what we can do. I know a lot of you love when I do a deep brown smoky eye, and I feel like I haven't done that in a while, so I think maybe we'll do something like that today. I'm going to start off with my crease color. We're gonna go in with this shade first. I've always been a really big fan of the Huda Beauty matte formula. Even the very first palette she came out with, which I believe she changed the formula after that because people didn't like it, I really liked all the variations she's done. So this is blending out really nicely. Very warm tone. I was trying to go for kind of the mid-range warmth because there is an even warmer tone in here. And I'm going to build it up fairly heavy. I did that in a previous look and I've just been really loving full, full face. It's building up and blending out as I would expect. 
really easy to do. I'm also including that toolbox of all my brushes in my videos going forward because I got such good feedback on previous video that I should continue to do that. So thank you so much for letting me know you like that. It does take a little bit more time, but honestly, if you guys find it helpful, I'll continue to do that. So definitely give me feedback like that on things that you want more of or anything that could help you more in my videos because I absolutely take the time to do that for you guys. Taking this sheet in the palette, just going to dust it around the edges. I don't typically highlight my brow, but I want to use as many colors as I can. Just further blend out the edges with this shade. Minimal kickback in the pan. They were fairly firmly pressed, actually, these shadows. Now I'm going to take this cream formula just on my finger. We're going to work it onto the lid, and then I'm going to build up the deepest shade in the palette on top. This goes on a lot lighter than I thought it would be. The pigmentation is really nice and even on this shade. Just taking a clean brush, see if this blends out. Try and blend that into our crease shade. That blends in effortlessly. If you have trouble with a smoky eye, this cream is actually really easy to blend in. I thought I might have to get just the middle shade to blend everything in, but that's going in real nicely. So we will be building on top of this just to play around with the colors, but so far I would leave it like that. This is what I would call a mid-tone smoky eye. It can go deeper, but I really love how everything was blending. So now I'm going to go back in with a flat brush and the deepest shade in the palette. See if we can deepen this up even more. And then I might go back into the crease just to play around with some more shades. See the difference between that color and that base? So you can definitely go deep with this. I'm just gonna do the same steps, blend this out. For further help with the blend, I'm just going to go in with this shade right here, that in the low crease. It's like daytime smoky, nighttime smoky. Now that that's all blended, I'm going to just do the same thing to the other eye. I feel like I haven't gotten this smoky in a very, very long time. That is the eyeshadow done. I really love how it went on. I love how smooth the lid color is. I am having a slight issue in the outer corner just to get that fully blended. So I might go back, try and fix that up after, but I'm like flaking my eyes. It's gross, I know. I need a good eye cream. Let me know what you guys recommend. I feel like I need to balance this look with some bigger eyelashes than I typically go for. So normally I really love a wispy style from Ardell. I'm actually going to try out the 113s, which are just a little bit longer. Quick curl to my lashes, coat of mascara, and then we're going to pop on the lashes. I'm obsessed. <laughs> a brown smoky eye has been a long time coming with these warm of tones. I cannot wait to see the finished look. Now we're going to move on to the complexion. We have a ton of new complexion. I'm going to start off by hydrating my face. We have something new from Benefit Cosmetics. This is part of their skincare range. They sent me it all. I've been slowly testing it out because you guys know I'm sensitive. So I'm going to be testing out the Smooth Sip. And this is a lightweight smoothing moisturizer for pores. I was very excited for this. This in the cleansing oil. I love the packaging of this. This is supposed to be a gel moisturizer and it's definitely that sort of consistency. I don't like gels for cleansers, but I absolutely love them for moisturizers. It smells nice and clean, nice and lightweight, and it is absorbing or drying down quite fast. My skin's either eating this up or it's mattifying. Oh yeah, this will be good underneath makeup too. There's a slight tack to it, but it dried down pretty good on the face. And then I also have this Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X No Filter Primer. The results I've seen with this are incredible. I'm just going to test it on my smile lines today. I feel like I can't really try this out too much because I have three primers I'm wanting to test out. So we'll have to further test this out in the future, but I'm just taking a little bit and it says to wait a few minutes. I have a little bit extra, so maybe let's do it by the eyes. How about the forehead? And the 11 too. Let's just put it everywhere we have wrinkles. <laughs> See how this works. We'll dry within three to seven minutes. Maybe I shouldn't have tested this today. <laughs> I'm just going to hang out for I guess seven minutes and then come back and we'll continue on with the face. For this, I'll have to look back at footage and see if it even did anything. It is doing a little bit of pilling. I feel like it could be reacting to the moisturizer underneath, but we will definitely continue to test this out. I'm gonna use it without anything underneath and see how that works. But yeah, I definitely feel like this is definitely a pilling type of product for me. So now I'm just gonna go and use the new Glow Recipe strictly in my pore areas and try and see if this smooths stuff out. I did use this the other day and it totally exploded. So 
I'm going to see if this can lightly come out. Whoops. It comes out fast, just so you know. So it's a very thin consistency. It doesn't feel like a typical smoothing primer because it is more serum-like, I guess. It's not thick at all. So we're just going to smooth this on my porous areas. Hopefully the foundation goes on nicely over top. This also dries down quite quick. Everything I'm using is drying fast. So we have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow Foundation. This says foundation on it, but online it says skin tint, and I would definitely classify this as a skin tint. I was going to do a full review of this. However, it wasn't my favorite product, and I found other ways to use this, which you need other things to make this look good on my skin. So that's why I don't recommend it, because I need to do a bunch of stuff to make this look good. And it's in the shade 28N, which is light, medium, neutral. This is quite tan though. So just be warned if you're going to be purchasing this that I do feel like it goes dark. This is a dark shade. That is not a light medium to me. This is tan. It looks tan to me. So I do like to put this on with my fingers, but 100% not a light medium. It is very glowy. This isn't pilling up, so that's good. None of the products are interfering with this. I've been a huge fan of Tarte Complexion in the past. This for me hasn't been my favorite. I loved their Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I didn't like their Maracuja clay one. I don't know which one it was. It's the super thick full coverage one because my skin couldn't handle that. Their concealers, their shape tape foundation I even thought, but I really love the Rainforest of the Sea. I think they say this goes up to a medium coverage. You can see it's fairly light on my skin. I do feel like I need to use a lot for this to work for me. I did get the mini, thankfully. I didn't go the full size so I could test it out, but it's just not a product that I would recommend. I feel like for the price, I just use too much. It doesn't look the best on its own. It's like a fuller coverage Charlotte Tilbury, the glow product. It's so glowy. It just doesn't look flattering on my skin. I'm sure there's some people that this would look flattering on, but if you have texture and pores like me, like <laughs> this on its own, it's just, it's not a vibe. It's not it. This is why I didn't do a dedicated review. I just personally would not wear this. It doesn't do my skin justice, I feel. However, I do feel like skin tints pair so nicely with Makeup Forever powder foundation. This is typically how I wear this product, is on a skin tint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my concealer first. Even just a little bit of concealer makes this skin tint look so much better me. I wish I could be one of those people who wear really glowy skin products and my skin look good, but I'm just not. So now we're going to go in with the powder foundation from Makeup Forever. I will be using a brush to apply it today. This one's from Makeup Geek. Unfortunately, it's discontinued now, but whatever kabuki style brush you have, and I'm just going to buff this on the skin. So this is how I found I like to wear. This product is underneath this. I feel like it gives it more glow and makes me like the powder even more with something super hydrating and glowy underneath. So it was a really nice combo I discovered and I wanted to share with you, but I would absolutely not repurchase this again. We do have the new Sculptinos from Tower 28, but I'm actually gonna skip this right now just because I feel like with the powder, it's probably not gonna play nicely, but I do have another powder that I wanted to use to set my under eye area. And this is the new one from NARS. It's the Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. I've seen a lot of people use this underneath their eyes and it looked beautiful on them. I can open it. So I have the shade Creek here. Just going to take a fluffy brush and pack a little bit underneath the eye. This is lighter. So this should do a little bit of brightening. Find that powder really nice and blurring. I'm actually going to put it just center of my face a little bit to brighten everything up. I like how that's looking. I don't have a new bronzer to try, but I do have Mac Give Me Sun back in my life. So you know I'm going to use this and I'm gonna be so happy about it. So I'm going to just apply this quickly to the skin and then we're gonna move on to some new products. I am so very excited for this product. This formula is one of the best blushes I've personally ever used. It's the new ones from House Labs. Initially, I was gonna pass on this because I do not need another blush, but I'm so glad I picked this up because the formula is just special. When I tell you how something so pigmented like this could diffuse like it does, I was shocked. This is a very special formula to me because it blends out so beautifully and this is the shade Watermelon Bliss. It is vibrant, bright. It says it's a universal red 
we're taking my Morphe Ariel brush and it just warms up the skin so beautifully. The color only a dab will do, but you think with a color like this, it would be splotchy. It is so pretty and diffused and that's just a light dab in. That's all I need. And this in the summer with a tan, I cannot tell you how excited I am to wear this. This is one of the best new releases so far this year. Just trying to see what shade I haven't used in this palette to finish off the eyes. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade on the lower lash line. And then I just picked this up from Sephora. It's the YSL Crush Liner Stylo Eyeliner Waterproof in number two. It is a brown shade from YSL. And I have a black eyeliner from YSL that I always use when I do a liner in my waterline because it's so pigmented and it doesn't budge. So I was hoping this brown would be the same because they don't make that formula anymore. So I'm hoping this lasts. My waterline is so watery. Love the color of it. I feel like that added touch just really completed the eyes for me. But I do wanna add just a little bit of mascara same old, same here, just my Rimmel Lash Accelerator because I like to think that this actually grows my lower lashes. Then to finish off the lips, I'm just going to remove the lip oil and we're going to complete this look with one of these glosses. I really cannot decide which one I was gonna use. I was probably gonna use this shimmery one, but now I'm feeling like this nude tone would look really good with a smoky eye. I'm gonna start off with the nude, but I need to show you guys how this looks like on the lips. I have to, it is so pretty. So just lining my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Love Trap, then going in with the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nude Blossom Lip Gloss. And this is really cool because it's magnetized. It just clicks into the magnets. It's a really cool packaging. I keep twisting it thinking I need to when I don't. And these smell like candy. So these are a sheer gloss. They don't have too much pigment to them if you're not a fan of that, but I do like a sheer gloss. I like an opaque gloss too, but this is the color of Nude Blossom. It's really pretty. I'm just doing Love Trap again. Just wanna add a little bit of a nude lipstick to the lips before I go in with the sparkle so you can really see it. This is Huda Beauty Staycation. Blink out the lips, and then we're going in with this gloss, which is my personal favorite. It is in the shade Sparkling Iris. This color is so pretty, has the most beautiful sparkle to it. It kind of reminds me of that really popular Dior one. I'll throw in some images of this so you can actually see what the sparkle looks like in the gloss, but on the lips, you can see it just looks super shiny. I love how it looks. And to set the face, I'm going to be trying out the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. It's a 24 hour hydrating setting mist, which I feel like we need some hydration back to the skin after all that powder to correct that foundation. Okay. Mmm, this smells good. My eye color just looks like it's popping with these shades. I'm just going to let my face dry, do my hair, get dressed, come back, and we will talk more about these products. I am back. I absolutely love how this look turned out. So we're just going to quickly go over the products. I'm gonna give you a rundown on my final thoughts on them. For my base, we used a lot. Probably a little too much for this video, but in the end, I feel like we came out on top. <laughs> you definitely do not need this much to get here, but we just did because we were testing out a bunch of new makeup. So to start off, we have the Benefit New Moisturizer. I really like how this feels on the skin. I'd like to see this just on its own without any other help. I have to look back at footage for the Peter Thomas Roth product just to see if it did any tightening. I feel like my skin looks good, but I'm not sure if this helped much, but I did have so much on, so we'll save that. Then we have the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA Pore Smoothing Blur Drops. I feel like this is one of those products that is going to help over time. And there's other products I feel like give more of an immediate pore smoothing for me personally. So this, I still wanna test out. It's a little too thin for a pore product, I feel like, the serum. But let me know if you've tried this. I still wanna use it some more. I'm not gonna to totally write it off right now, but I feel like this is more skincare than makeup. But Glow Recipe is a skincare brand, so that makes sense to me. My pores are looking good. I mean, it does look smooth, but I do feel like there's other ones that work a little bit better. This combo right here, I really love. However, I would not <laughs> recommend the new Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow Foundation. Just because on its own, how it looks like on my skin is really unflattering. And I do have to use a ton of product to get how I want my skin to look. It's a little too glowy for me because it accentuates all my texture. So it's just for my skin type, 
it's not gonna work for me. So if you have a different skin type, you might actually like this, but it does run dark too. Just a bunch of issues that I found with that. I'm glad I picked up the mini and didn't go the full size. Did a whole video on this Makeup Forever powder, so I'm not gonna go on too much about it, but I love this. I love the reformulation more than the original, and I love the original. My eyes right now, I haven't done this deep of a brown smoky eye in quite some time. I'm loving how it looks. I kind of want to wear this on a night out. I have to go out and drop socks off at my kid's school. <laughs> I'm personally gonna be getting so much use out of this. I love the formulations and I love how they included those two creamier type products in here. I really love the dark one as a base. Normally I would have gone for the light one and then did a smoky eyeliner or something like that, but we went full on full smoky eye today and I love how it turned out. Super easy to blend out. I will keep you updated on this YSL eyeliner to see how it wears in my waterline. Check for a pin comment or in the description box. I will update you. Love the stiletto lashes from Risa Does Makeup and BK Beauty. I've used the other ones on my channel. These ones work for the look. The Ardell ones were just a little too much for me. You need this blush. It is that beautiful to me. Just pick it up. You'll thank me later. <laughs> Formula color packaging, everything about it is pure perfection. I like how the Makeup Forever Mist melted everything in and it really smells good too. Not that that should be a thing, but I do like how it smells. I used Love Trap in another video, but it's really nice if I'm doing something close to my natural lip color. These glosses from Laura Lee Los Angeles are a must. I think for three of these, it's $30. So each one is $12, but they're super pretty. The packaging is really unique because it's magnetized. I just love the packaging and the colors are just right up my alley. Another powder we tried out that has been really popular is the new one from NARS. And I would like to test this all over my face. That's something I do wanna do. However, just as a brightening powder underneath my eyes, I feel like it looks beautiful. So I really love this color for underneath my eyes and I will definitely continue to use it. It reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury, but I feel like with a little bit more pigment to it and it's easier to pick up in this compact. So I wanna test them side by side and see. And then the last thing I have here is the new City Beauty City Lips Night Oil. Love this as my last step in my skincare routine at night. It just is so nice on the lips and my lips are ready to go in the morning after I use this. So I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. So thanks again to City Beauty for sponsoring the beginning portion of the video. I will have my code on the screen and the description box, everything linked for you guys to go check out. So that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. If you've not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.